Watch what I did, watch what Dev did, take what you yeah. want, but it's your turn. Exactly. Like, forget what we did yeah. also. Absolutely. Because Dallas, it's your turn, it's your turn. <laughs> like, let's, let's see your Zuko, let's go. Yeah. I'm Dante Bosco. Hello, Zuko here. Oh, that was so good. Okay. Hi, my name is Dallas Liu, and I'm Prince Zuko. What's up, Prince Zuko? How you doing, Zuko? It's good to see you. It's nice to finally Fire talk Nation. to you. Can we just say Fire Nation in the house? The Fire Nation is in the house right now. Fire Nation in the house. You know what's the deal. You know what the deal is. So, <laughs> I gotta ask, man. So this yeah. is the first time us seeing each other in real life. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Our first time speaking was over the phone. Now we're here and we're making it's it It's great. I mean. I was so, you know, when, the, when, when your people reached out to my people, like, hey, Dallas wants to talk to you mm. before shooting. I was yeah. just, I love that. I mean, generationally as just, especially Asian actors uh, of a certain lineage and just reaching out. I, I was so impressed with that and with you. And of course, I love that you're playing Prince Zuko. And I'm like, let's talk. Let's, let's yeah. really, let's get into it. Yeah. And so it was my, you know, it was my honor to talk to you uh, <laughs> about all this. No, no, no. How did it feel? How did it feel when you learned that you booked Prince Zuko? First off, thank you for speaking so nicely about me. That meant a lot. <laughs> Get out of here. Um, obviously, Zuko is one of my favorite animated characters of all time. And knowing his character arc and where that could go and how I had always imagined myself as a, a firebender when I was younger and his iconic scar and obviously your voice, right? It was, it was nerve-wracking, but there's so much for me to look forward to as well. I really felt, I really trusted myself, but I also trusted um, our writers and our creators. Of course. We made sure to pay respects, but at the same time, you know, what's the point of making a live action if you're just gonna go line for line, right. scene for scene? So I think we did a phenomenal job of doing that. And so. I can't wait to see. I can't, I can't wait to see. <laughs> yeah, so with that in mind, I was just, I was overwhelmed with emotion. Yeah. And what about you? I mean, I had the animated series. I had you. For you, though, in that situation, what was it like? You know, it's different because on, on that side, uh, it, nothing existed yet. And right. it's, it, wasn't, it hadn't become what it was going to become. And I, for me, I didn't even know. Because, you know, I, I'm, we're actors. We're just acting. We're doing things. I do on camera. I was doing voiceover. I was actually in the middle of doing uh, American Dragon Jake Long, which I okay. love, Dragon Up, yeah, yeah, yeah. another Firebender. Another legendary another Firebender. animated series. Uh, so I thought as a voice, I was like, oh, I'll be the hero on Disney and I'll be the villain on Nickelodeon. Yeah. Like, That's cool, because mm -hmm. of course, he was ponytailed out, looking <laughs> crazy, early Zuko. Yep. Um, I did not know what he was going to become and I didn't really know what he was gonna become through the whole series. I was just playing it scene by scene. It's really beautiful. Now I'm so much more surprised over a decade later when it really kind of arose again in, on Netflix yeah. and became like the number one show on Netflix during COVID and really impacted another generation and the poignancy of the show and the characters. So, I mean, you know, I'm just a fan like everyone else now too. Same. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what I thought was really cool is like how you were able to adapt so well to um, the future or the second and third season after not knowing where the show could go. Right. And for me, it was interesting because I already knew where it could go. Right. So I had to sort of play into that. I'm shooting this villain role like I'm going to go 100% all the way. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, you talk, you can't play. You can only play the, the scenes you're in. Exactly. 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 I mean, I loved, I loved how when we talked, how you're concerned. I just love you being an actor and a young actor and having respect in, for the whole thing and of Zuko. And I, and I remember telling you, like, hey, man, like, it's your turn. Yeah, and it's, that, it's, was, that was a big moment. Like yeah. chills like, sort of went through my body because I hadn't even really let it sink in at that point. Right. It was just kind of like, oh, I booked a job. Like, yes, no, I'm I working, I'm employed. Exactly, and I you think know? we always feel like that. But mm. I mean, I, you know, like I told you, we become a fraternity of actors that, mm -hmm. that share a character. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. to this point, it's been me, you, and Dev Patel. Yeah, dude. That got to play Zuko. Yeah. There's going to be more in the future. Right. That's great, right. but we, are the fraternity of actors yeah, that dude. got to play this role. And at the same token, watch what I did, watch what Dev did, take what you yeah. want, but it's your turn. Exactly. Like, forget what we did yeah. also. Absolutely. Because Dallas, it's your turn, it's your turn. Like, <laughs> let's, let's see your Zuko, let's go. Yeah. And in a lot of ways, I'm really lucky because I have both of you to yeah. go off to. So I could, in a way, use what I love from you and Dev and then mix in my own and create something that 
I truly cared about. So that's beautiful. <laughs> that's beautiful. So I'm Dude, so excited. I'm actually curious. What yeah. do you? So like, I remember on our call, um, we talked about the voice. Like, you're obviously your voice in itself is iconic. I get out of here. Yeah. No, seriously. It's it's so. I felt like at the time, and I, I still feel this way, a lot because just seeing what's on the internet. But right. like, there's a lot to live up to, right? This is my first time being a lead in a series, so I'm not really sure what to expect. Is there any advice that you might have for me regarding um, the sort of fandom that I'm getting myself I know. into? Really what I've learned over the years, Avatar is a community, a mm. worldwide community, the nicest community you could be a part of, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been able to interact with the community, the Avatar family and community throughout the world through Comic Cons and through events for the last 10 plus years. They're very loving, they love, they're so passionate about it. This mm -hmm. is a crazy thing, so after COVID, Right, and opened up, I go to New York Comic Con. Right. And, you know, the lines are crazy. I mean, literally, it, this is a show I did years ago, yet my lines, me and like Anakin and Skywalker have the longest lines in all of, all of New York Comic Con, right? And I'm like, mm. this is crazy. I'm signing autographs and this one guy comes up and, you know, so he's like, I grew up with you. And I go, I mean, thanks, thanks. You know, it's we all grew up together. He goes, no, you don't get it. And I go, what? And he like stopped me. He goes, you gotta understand that Avatar it programmed our generation. It did. I said, Seriously, what? Yeah, man. I said, what do you mean? The guy mm -hmm. said, Avatar, you know, why do you think we're the generation that brought protests back? The Me Too movement, Black Lives Matter. He, he looked at me and he said, we're trying to get the world back in balance. Mm -hmm. And the whole, like, it shook me. Mm -hmm. There are certain things we do in our career, we don't even know what we're doing while we're doing it and the impact that it is and how it impacts the generation. Our role is not to do that. Our role is to play our role. Yeah. And it's your turn to play Zuko. Yeah. So I mean, play it. Obviously, the goal would be not only to make an entertaining performance, but um, also be able to inspire others yeah. to keep on going. I of mean, course. That's, that's Zuko's whole thing. And, uh, and the rest of the world, how's, how's the rest of the gang doing? I mean, how's Aang? How's, how's Katara? I miss Katara. Um, She's dead. She doing good. Yeah. Sokka, my boy Sokka, how's he doing? Bro. So, first off, Gordon's perfect. I'm okay. sure you guys have seen him online. His big old smile, he's such a goofball. I mean, at the time of the show, he was 12 and 13, so we really got to watch him grow on set as well. Yeah. And, you know, it's funny, his, his like, sense of humor and um, just, like, his, his acting never grew as well. Like, he, he stayed Aang on camera, wow. which is interesting, because I know that, I think what you see in a lot of television shows is when kids get older, their voice changes, mm -hmm. right? And you sort of see um, a maturity in their performance and their character grows, but Gordon did such a wonderful job maintaining Aang. Wow. Because we had spent quite a bit of time filming the series. Yao and Dio is spot on. I mean, she's like the mother of our group as awesome. well. So, as, as she should yeah, be, she's, as she should be. I mean, our characters don't interact that often in season one, of course, but of course. when I do get to see them, she's always putting them in put him in check. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. And then, you know, I actually ended up um, being roommates with Sokka. Oh, awesome. During our time filming. That is, that's dope. Yeah, he is, he is my brother for life. I mean, you know, same thing, our characters never interacted, so every day that I was on set, he was at home, mm -hmm. and then when I was at home, he was on set. Right. So um, it was a nice balance of getting to, you know, live together and be best friends. Right, right. right. And then, sort of have breaks from each other, totally. which everybody needs. I look forward, as you're even just talking like this, I look forward to the relationships you're gonna have with them throughout the years. With my, with my gang, mm. Zach and May and Jack, we, we're still friends almost 20 years later and we've been traveling the world together. Yeah. And Who would you say you're the closest with? Sokka, so you're Jack, <laughs> I'm, I'm closest That's to Jack, amazing. with Jack. However, as again, when Zach, who played Aang, when he was, he was a kid. Mm -hmm. And so he was a kid for so many years and that as we got back together doing things, um, now he's a grown guy and sure. now I'm much closer sure, to him now. Sure, sure. But just I, I envy and I could see, you know, you, it, your Avatar family, our, our Avatar family, right. it's a, you become a family as the years go on and, mm. and you share the special bond of this show. And, yeah. um, and we'll, get our, we'll get our families together. Well, you know, yeah, we'll absolutely. One thing I want to say is like seeing your guys' family also influenced us to make sure that all of our bonds were tight yeah. and that we trusted each other through everything. And there were no secrets and that we could really um, lean on each other's shoulder during the entire process. And I think um, Ian was my rock 
um, at home, and Paul was my rock on set. Right. Who oh yeah. Plays Uncle Iroh. Uh, I mean, come on, can we? Can we have a special shout out to all Uncle? Yeah. We all aspire to be Uncle Iroh. For real, we, dude. we may be Zuko now, but but we want to be Uncle yeah. Iroh. Uncle Iroh when is, all is the biggest done. inspiration for sure. No doubt. Well, like I said, it's a pleasure to to meet you in person finally, yeah. and I uh, I'm not worried at all. I'm honored that Thank you're, you, you're, you're I mean, the next Prince Zuko. I can't tell you like how much that means. I mean, obviously I st see stuff on the internet and we had our phone call, but um, being able to have this conversation with you um, makes me trust the process a lot more. You know, it's, it's scary. It is scary. But if I've got you, I think, I mean, supporting not just me, but our show, um, that makes me feel a lot better. And thank you for that. Honor. <laughs>